Hello, I'm Assembly Minority Leader Peter Barca with this week's Democratic Address. Thinking back over this past year, it's easy to get disheartened, discouraged, and even upset because Wisconsin has changed dramatically and there is much I no longer recognize about our state. Wisconsin used to be among the leading states in the nation in education, in healthcare quality and access, and we had a reputation for clean and open government, civil dialogue, and reasonable political solutions. As 2011 comes to a close, unfortunately, we now lead the nation in job loss. We are second in the nation in cuts to public education, and we lead the nation in political polarization. Wisconsin is, sadly, a state divided. Yet I want to talk today about hope. Time Magazine named the protester its Person of the Year for 2011. Much of it started right here in Wisconsin in February when Governor Walker took away worker rights. It continued as he cut public education, cut programs that allow seniors to stay in their homes, cut health care for struggling families, and cut job training. How in the midst of all these harmful changes do I see hope? Because I see the way people responded. The people of Wisconsin are more involved than ever in their civic life. They are proving just how deeply they care about their communities and our state. Wisconsinites of all political stripes have been in the Capitol writing in their newspapers, signing petitions, and advocating for all these working families who are struggling in these difficult economic times. Taking back our state is not about a political party. It's a fight for Wisconsin values, working together, protecting education, helping struggling families, and creating a vibrant economy where everyone benefits, not just politically connected special interests. This involvement, this enthusiasm, this dedication shows me that by working together, we can take back our state. We can return to open, transparent government. We can find elected officials who value working together, finding solutions, and listening to the people. 2011 will go down in Wisconsin history as an example of the power of citizens who joined together, got involved, and fought back when they saw their state harmed and divided to benefit in a manner not in keeping with Wisconsin tradition. So whatever your political perspective, I urge everyone to remain engaged in the coming year. As the ceiling in the governor's conference room reads, the will of the people shall be the law of the land. Let's make that our creed for 2012 as we move forward together. Happy holidays to all of you. Happy New Year for Wisconsin.